Lynette Davies runs Canacare and believes that marijuana is the best drug to help some people with their pain. But a new study suggests customers could pay the price with a disturbing side effect. Marijuana is a medicine. It's a very, very serious medicine. To legalize or not, that's the question facing voters in November. I think I'm going to vote yes. I'll probably be against it. And as Californians decide, new research links marijuana to psychotic experiences. A study from the University of Bath in the United Kingdom asked more than 300 students to answer questions about how often they use marijuana and whether they have hallucinations or delusions. Researchers found that people who use cannabis on a frequent basis increase their likelihood of hallucinating and in the long run, they say it could increase the risk of developing a serious mental illness. We see a large patient base and we're not seeing that in our patient base. Lynette Davies, who heads up a medical marijuana dispensary in Sacramento, says she's not saying the findings are untrue, but she believes researchers still have more work to do. Well, again, you're looking at a very small group that was studied, and it's not in-depth enough to give that determination. When you're looking at 300 people and you're making a determination on a public, that's not good enough. And while she supports the use of medical marijuana, she's not a supporter of Prop 19. We are not going to support a vice. We are going to support a medicine. But the latest polls show a majority of Californians leaning toward legalizing pot, proving that beating Prop 19 isn't as simple as just say no even as new evidence surfaces of pot's possible side effects. Even though this study claims potential problems, Davies showed us another study which suggests pot helps patients with mental illnesses. Just another example that the research on medical marijuana still gets mixed reviews.